Here in Germany, intelligence chiefs have been warning that Russia is ramping up its efforts to carry out acts of sabotage since its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Domestic intelligence chief Thomas Haldenwang cited a near miss in July involving a DHL cargo plane and a parcel rigged with an incendiary device. The package burst into flames on the ground before it could be loaded onto the plane. Haldenwang described this as a lucky incident, a lucky accident that the package didn't cause the plane to crash. Security agencies have been on high alert since the incident at DHL's logistics hub in Leipzig. Here's, uh, here's some of what the intelligence chiefs had to say about Russia's intel intentions. A few years ago, I said that Russia was a storm, but China was climate change. Nothing has fundamentally changed in this statement, but the storm has turned into a true hurricane. This hurricane is moving with force from east to west, and we can see what's happened in our eastern neighbors, in the Baltic states and Poland, where things are even more brutal than here in Germany. The Kremlin sees Germany as an enemy. As Ukraine's second largest supporter, we have picked a side as far as Moscow is concerned. Whether we like it or not, we are in direct confrontation with Russia and Putin has long since declared us his enemy. Let's get more from our political correspondent Simon Young. Welcome, Simon. Did the intelligence chiefs uh, give uh, more examples of Russian sabotage beyond the uh, DHL incident? Yeah, Phil, the, they uh, are talking about a long list of things, really, some very concerning things as well. For instance, the uh, head of uh, military in, uh, intelligence uh, that's focused uh, in the military area uh, was saying that uh, Russia is really uh, focused on espionage against Germany's armed forces, trying to find out, for instance, about weapons deliveries to Ukraine uh, and about training uh, programs. Uh, and uh, its aim is to spread insecurity. And the other uh, intelligence chiefs, the foreign uh, intelligence uh, chief and the domestic one were really saying, you know, uh, hybrid attacks are a very worrying trend, uh, that Russia is already engaged in an unprecedented level of hybrid attacks, and that's likely uh, to escalate as it presses its uh, uh, objectives. Uh, and uh, we're seeing that already. They said there's, uh, of course, uh, uh, social media is being used, fake news is being spread in order to uh, undermine Western positions, but also infiltration of traditional uh, media as well, also of political parties, uh, also of German businesses, for instance, logistics businesses and other sort of uh, industrially key uh, sectors. Uh, so, uh, you know, Russian activity uh, at all levels, and they say it's ramping up. And of course, in addition to that, uh, traditional spying activities with huge numbers of agents being recruited, and also an increase uh, in drone attacks. For instance, um, drones being used to uh, collect information on Germany's energy infrastructure and so on. So it's a huge list of things uh, that uh, these uh, intelligence people are, are very concerned about. OK, and the, the head of Germany's Foreign Intelligence Service also warned about Russian preparations for a military conflict with NATO. We'll hear from Bruno Karl, then come back to you, Simon. Russia's armed forces will probably be in a position, both in terms of personnel and material, to launch an attack against NATO by the end of this decade. Ladies and gentlemen, Putin is also preparing Russian society for a long conflict with the West. Simon Young, how seriously should we take uh, such a warning? Yeah, Phil, I think you do have to take this seriously. These people uh, that were speaking today in the Bundestag are the uh, heads of the Germany's three uh, foremost intelligence services. Uh, it wasn't an event where they would be expected to sort of reveal all their secrets. The point of this was to sort of shed some light uh, on what they are focusing on, what they are concerned about, and also, of course, to uh, sort of sell the message publicly that uh, money spent on those services is money well spent. But they really are saying, again, you know, Russia is actively 
pursuing, uh, a, 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 you know, direct confrontation with the West. Uh, that he, one of the, uh, the, the the head of foreign intelligence, uh, said that uh, Putin wants to create a new world order and push the United States out of Europe to reduce NATO back to the state that it was uh, in the late 1990s. Uh, and he also pointed out that Russia invests much more than NATO countries in its military, uh, as you heard there, preparing their population uh, for a long-term sort of conflict. Uh, and uh, they're also pursuing the same objective through their foreign policy, uh, courting uh, poorer nations and seeking uh, to sort of build alliances uh, against the West. And they went on to say that they want more room to manoeuvre, they need more freedoms from regulations and legislation, which they say to some extent uh, has limited them from doing their work properly. Okay, thanks, Simon. DW political correspondent Simon Young.